I am 70 years old and I'm a school teacher. I'm 61 years old and a homemaker, a minister's wife, and a piano teacher. I'm an 84-year-old retired dairy farmer. I have been married 61 years. I'm a 56-year-old and the director of the laboratory services at Christmas Trinity Mother Francis. I live in White House and have been married for 31 years. I'm 59 years old and a resident of Sherman, Texas. I'm a 54-year-old educator and Christian author. I was walking in downtown Longview, headed to jury duty the last week of January 2003, and suddenly had pain in my chest and difficulty breathing. I started experiencing really bad indigestion. I called Brandy Holcomb, the acute ner care nurse practitioner in Tyler, and told her I was experiencing pain in my chest. My journey begins with the dreaded annual wellness visit. My physician, Dr. Corrier, performed an EKG because I happened to mention an episode of heaviness in my chest during a walk. I experienced shortness of breath on and off. I finally went to the doctor and was told to immediately go to the ER. I was at Dr. Cardinelli's sign for a normal visit when she noticed an increase in a previously diagnosed murmur. I decided to go to my primary care doctor. She immediately referred me to a local cardiologist. The abnormal EKG led to a failed stress test and rather alarming catheterization. After I arrived, they immediately transported me to Christus Mother Francis Hospital in Tyler, where I saw Dr. Jeffrey Carr, who did a stent to unblock a severely clogged artery. Went straight home and called my primary care physician and made an appointment for the next day. They did an EKG, and I had a stress test later in the week that produced the same pain I had before. I followed up with my primary care doctor, who did a walking stress test, and they had to stop it immediately because I couldn't do it. I was sent to get a heart cat done, and it undercovered that I had blockages in all of my valves. Since it was time for a cardiac recheck, I was scheduled with Dr. Cumberfield, who in turn scheduled a transesophageal echocardiogram with Dr. Freeburg. This technology and equipment were the first to detect the increased valve leakage and subsequent tear to my mitral valve leaflet. I went to see Dr. Kumar and Lindell and he told me I needed a heart cath. Less than a month later, Dr. Todd Smith did my carotid stents. In November, Dr. Cacciatolo did heart valve replacement and repair. My cardiologist, Dr. Sanford, decided I should not go home and reserved a room for me at Christus Trinity Mother Francis, Lewis and Peaches Owen Heart Hospital. To say I was unprepared for that and the situation was scary is an understatement. And I was rushed to Christus Mother Francis Hospital in Tyler, where I was seen by Dr. Oscar Paniagua. He took me to the cath lab to find out I had coronary artery disease and severe aortic valve syndrome. Because he already had the results of the stress test, Dr. Sanford scheduled a heart cath for Wednesday, February 19th, and I went in that morning believing I would come home with a stent or instructions to change my diet and exercise routine. When I came out from having the heart cath, I was surprised to learn that I had a 90% blockage in the left main artery, and Dr. Sanford recommended surgery the next morning. I was scheduled immediately for bypass surgery, which was done by Dr. Turner. To say that I am a walking miracle is an understatement. So I had to have my mitral valve replaced with a prosthetic bovine valve. On August 7, 2014, I was patient number two at eight o'clock on the schedule. We were greeted by the kind and knowledgeable staff that executed pre-op procedures with precision and skill. Strangely, I found solace in knowing this was routine for my surgery team. I learned I really should have paid more attention to my health early on, given the amount of heart issues that run in my family. Although my first 36 hours were a bit of a blur and I was in a fog, the sheer number of caregivers looking after me was astounding. We were a little worried because almost every shift was a new team looking after me, but we were amazed that each and every nurse knew my status, my pain tolerance, and knew exactly what to expect with me as a patient. The handoff communication was excellent. I am so grateful my husband and I had the presence of mind to pay attention to the indigestion and how quickly the staff in Winsboro made sure I got to Tyler to receive the care I needed. It was the most difficult thing I have ever gone through, 
but coming out on the other side is one of the greatest accomplishments of my life. I'm so thankful to the hospital staff and grateful for how well they treated me. They don't know this, but that's a huge part of healing. I have learned to be consistent with my health care, and I eat much differently and make sure to take my medications consistently. My goal was to come home on my birthday, and I made it. I was able to return to my classroom six weeks later, which coincided with the beginning of cardiac rehab at the Christus Trinity Mother Francis Sulphur Springs facility. I have always been proud to work here, but I'm also proud to say I was a patient here. Surgery started me on a journey to a healthy heart, but cardiac rehab was there to ensure my success. My name is Wendy Woodcock, and I am smart about my heart. My name is Patusa Mayfield, and I am smart about my heart. My name is Norma Jackson, and I am smart about my heart. My name is Shirley Kite, and I am smart about my heart. My name is Deborah Wilkerson, and I am smart about my heart. My name is Molly Ivory Bowie, and I am smart about my heart. My name is Sonia Bolton, and I am smart about my heart.